Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kari here, coming live from Colombia, as usual. Right now, I am in Poblado, right next to Parque Jeras. I'm just gonna walk around for a little bit. I just dropped my dog off at the the vet for um for you know like um what do they call that shit? Um, what do they call that when you know when you get the get the moss and everything? Um, yeah, I guess like a salon visit. So I just dropped him off. I'm gonna just walk around while I look for some food. Um. And give you guys a look at Poblado as it is today in October, early October. Um, it's quiet, it is Sunday, so not gonna be a whole lot going on. But I'd like to use this opportunity to chat to my subscribers and say what's up. Uh, talk about the latest and greatest. Um, so yeah. Looks like things are coming along in Colombia. As of right now. Things are definitely opened up. Um, last night. I went to. A restaurant. Uh, Italian restaurant over here. And then I hung out with. Um, one of my friends, and we went to another friend's house in Red Trio, which is a barrio, um, outside of Medellin. So that was fun, man. Had a good time. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and do that right now, because you're definitely missing out on a lot of what's going on. Some things, it's just quicker and easier to post it to Instagram for me. Um, yeah. Looks like there's a little shop up there I never noticed. A little shopping too. What's this? He's trying to show us his flowers. Very nice. Oh, shit. I'm trying to go across the street but it's not as uh, simple as it is in the states to cross the street here with with your life intact <laughs> so anybody interested in some dominoes they got that for you what's been going on with my people man make sure y'all like comment subscribe um, help out the channel. Pojo, Frita. Pojo? Uh, he got his frisbee. He got his frisbee, uh, his chicken, but he's still trying to make some bread. You know what I'm saying? It's nice, guys. Um, a lot of stuff is for rent over here. All my wannabe investors not a bad time if you've been working hard stacking up the bread and you, and you ready to make a move check that spot out up there there's a nice balcony of course I'm about to get uh, demonetized this fucking music we're gonna push on I rode by here last night. I didn't get out. I was in my, my friend was driving and um, it looked lit though. I know last night it was lit, but still guys, pretty much everything is closing at 12 over here. Um, with the exception of a few places. Uh, gracias. I look he need a fade. Uh, I might have to come back around. He, I don't know if y'all heard him, but he asked me if I wanted a fade. There's the Doc Martin store. I, I never had a pair of Doc Martins. 
I did have a Doc Martens jacket though, like a bomber jacket, super nice, loved it. So now, kind of coming down into the more popular Jairus area, the, the, the famous. More music. A giant ass Rottweiler. That's a big fucking boy. Oh, I love Rottweilers. One of my favorite breeds. Yes, guys. So that is Bonhomia. I hope I'm saying it right. I might not be, but man, I love that restaurant right there. If you guys get a chance to um, come to Medellin, stop by this restaurant right here. They have this um, cheese dip that they serve with bread, and it has like chorizo in it and stuff. Man, life changing. I should do a video on just that restaurant one day. It is one of my favorites here in the whole city. So, maybe that could be coming soon, guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, you got Hooters on the left. It is Sunday, so they're probably showing football, I'm sure. Walk down here a little bit. They're probably doing football. I'm only gonna be out here for about an hour. So, um, cause I'm just waiting for my dog to get his, um, his uh, shampoo and wash and everything. And, uh, um, you know, so yeah, you got Shorty hanging out outside Hooters. It's a smart move, I think. Smart move. I don't know what I want to eat over here. Maybe I'll go to Bonhomia. I'm also down to try something new. So guys, this is Jairus on a Sunday. That's cool. Let's see. Isn't that cool? He's like, um... Oh no, he's doing something that's making sparks fly. Working on some metal. Pretty cool. It's another, um, another sports kind of bar. Of course, there's tons of Americans around. So guys, I have, if you haven't seen my video on watching football in Colombia, I do have the NFL game pass. So I, I usually watch everything in my house. They added uh, Juan Valdez here. That was not here before the pandemic. So that's one business that's thriving, I guess. Taking advantage of uh, all the places for rent right now. There you got you got the Charlie Hotel. Looks kind of not. Looks a little bit like they're letting it go. I don't know. I stayed there like two years ago. So 
This is a nice classic Beamer. Fire. Fire. Six speed or five speed. Looks like it's been well maintained. Very clean. I like the old, the oldies, old cars, man. I remember when V6s were normal, man. It's so hard to get a, a V6 in a car, um, six speed in a car, a pull handbrake, and not like some electric handbrakes that they doing now. It's just cars have changed a lot. Very nice stuff for sale there. So tonight we all we also got um I think it's game three of the finals. The uh, NBA finals. So a lot of action today. Oh. A lot of a lot of uh, sports action today. So can't wait to get back to the crib and fire up uh I'll probably put the I'll probably put uh, the finals on my TV, my big screen, and then put the whatever game is on tonight on my computer. Beautiful today. It was raining a little bit earlier, but the day has cleared up and it's beautiful. Obviously, the park is pretty empty right now it's sunday so it's normal <laughs> is he trying to catch a body right now or not nah? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. You got the Dallas barbecue place. I've been there. It sucks, if you ask me. Or it's not that. So it's just overpriced. These spots that are right next to the park are super overpriced, if you ask me. I'm talking $10 a drink. U.S. It's U.S. prices, man. It's, there's a lot of other options out there. If you're willing to just kind of try something else. So, I'm not sure what's going on with this place. It's like, I think maybe they had a fire and they're trying to clean everything out here. I don't know, but hopefully they get back open soon. One thing that I do want to have that I've been craving is rodizio. It's one, it's something that we used to eat a lot back home in New Jersey. It's like Brazilian where they come uh, to your to your table and and kind of cut the meat off right onto your plate. So if anybody knows a rodizio spot here, let me know. Brazilian, Brazilian food. All right. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick look around the park um, from a daytime perspective, because I think most of the videos are at night. I know it's not much going on. I guess that's kind of the point, kind of see Jarrett's in a different light. It's a nice place just to come for some food, um, things like that, so. I'm gonna find something to eat, pick up my pup, and then uh, be on my way. Thanks for watching, guys. I wish everybody out there the best. And um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.